Afro-Kiwi, Muslim, feminist, cat lover. I love purple, uh, popcorn, candy, all the things that are not good for you. Yeah, avid reader, student, hopefully not for too much longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are the words that I use to describe myself. For me, I think it's simply the belief that, you know, women are citizens, we are equal, um, and that we have the choice to make decisions. It's not something that should be granted to us by others. So I was born in Makkah in Saudi Arabia, where my dad was studying at the time. Um, and we went back to Sierra Leone when he'd finished, but because of the, I guess, tensions that was brewing at the time, you know, we managed to come to New Zealand as refugees fleeing the Sierra Leonean civil war. But in 2008, we went back home for a holiday and just seeing how some aunties were, were treated and the different culture contrasted significantly to what I've seen in New Zealand. That trip back home was probably a trigger that made me become more involved in terms of human rights. I think she's iconic in the sense that she led what I would say is revolution um, for women's suffrage here in New Zealand. I think she's definitely an international icon as well. I think one of the individuals who were courageous enough to begin the conversations um, and to go further than conversations um, and go to action as well. Mum is definitely the number one inspiration. She's a formidable woman. <laughs> she left Sierra Leone without any family. It was such a significant change in the sense that, you know, you come from a collectivist society where everybody knows everybody on your street to coming to a society where, you know, you can live next to your neighbours and just not know them for many years. I think she did it so well. I think me and my sisters haven't turned out too bad. I'd like to think that I might have gotten some of my characteristics from her. We're pretty much at a point in time where we can either go backwards or go forward. So I think feminism needs to go beyond kind of advocating for one type or group of women, but for all. Um, and so we really do need that intersectionality coming through. Having the experience of, of going back home and seeing the such stark reality um, made me more grateful for the society that we live in New Zealand, but also I think it did bring to light that we still have a long way to go. And the fact that we're still talking about gender pay in 2018, when you know we lived in a so-called first world democratic nation, you'd think that's something that would have been dealt with by now. <laughs>